Hello everybody and welcome to a very quick Shirley Park update. I'm just going to talk to you about some upcoming news and dates to put in your diary. The Tuesday the 27th of August is course maintenance. So this is where we make all those lovely holes in the green that you enjoy so much. Um, so a uh, little bit about that. It is where we make the holes and we will be hollow tining as it's called. Um, the reasons why we do this are because across playing seasons the ground becomes very, very compact from all the wear and tear. Mowers, machines, golf, footprints, everything like that compacts the surface and it restricts the root movement. So by creating air pockets, roots don't grow in soil, they actually grow in the air space. Uh, as they work down the air spaces between soil particles and that's how water gets in better and the greens get healthier. The best time to do this is when the greens are at their best. Uh, now that sounds completely like something you shouldn't do, but if I was to say to you, uh, go and run five miles across the Sahara Desert in the middle of summer, uh, when would be the best time to do that? When you were lacking in health and you had you know, a cough and a cold, or should you be doing that when you're in optimum health? So when you're in optimum health, you'll get much better recovery and you can withstand the stress that you're put under. No different to the greens behind us. Hopefully you can all agree, they're a lovely green color. We've got a fantastic working irrigation system now. That means for you that when we do renovations, there will be much quicker recovery thanks to the new uh, work in electrics on the irrigation system. It's now reliable, all the sprinklers will function, the sand will get washed in a lot quicker, and because of growth, the holes that are made will grow over and close up a lot quicker. While the weather lasts and it's sunny, we will up the rolling on the greens as well to help squeeze those gaps together with the roller and help everything knit together. So there you go, 27th of August, uh, the course will be closed until lunchtime. So do expect disruption if you're trying to book tea times. We will be out there with a lot of machines and this will continue into the Wednesday, the 28th until about 12 o'clock noon, where then the processes should be done. Uh, you will have bobbly greens for a while. That's what comes with maintaining healthy greens. Um, we're then gonna move on to some teas and things, but that won't cause any disruption to you. We're gonna attack. Uh, some of the path threes. Another little bit of good news. I haven't shared this with anyone yet, actually, other than my deputy here, Darren. But uh, we did some soil samples three weeks ago on the 18th and the putting green, and the root growth in our greens is about four to five inches now, which is the length that we uh, hollow tined down to. Now, that is, I wouldn't say unheard of, but since I've been here, when I started, the root growth was about an inch maximum. So the fact that we've now got four to five inches is because of the processes and management practices that we've been doing. So that's fantastic news for you. It means healthy greens, healthy roots. What goes on above ground affects what happens above ground. Uh, the other thing is, in my career, you don't often see this around other golf courses and course managers around the country. Um, you either see them about a foot long and the greens are generally new or years of good practice. Um, but I haven't ever seen poor root growth transformed into fantastic root growth. So it's down to the hard work that the greens have been receiving, I'd like to say. Uh, there's nothing else that's caused that other than the input. So good news for you because you've got very healthy greens here now. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be with you for another update soon.